I think something must have happened. We're doing some doctoring. What happened here? Okay, here we go in three, two. This actually came together really good. here. Hello. Hello. Happy riding. <laughs> it is the most beautiful day y'all. The most beautiful day. It's 60, uh, 66, 67 degrees. Sun is shining. The wind is blowing. I just uh, did my sprints and about blew away, but man, it feels good. It feels good to get some vitamin D too. <laughs> so I'm working in my crib and I heard them going by. Um, I'll go up there later and show you the horses. The The geldings are doing pretty good, but uh, cowboy officially abscessed this morning. So Rip is like four or five days ahead of him. So I guess this is just going to go on for a couple more weeks probably. I don't know. But at least the other three are staying well and um, we're keeping them separated and um, they're eating and they're out in that lot where they can move around and keep their head down. So that part is good. <laughs> um, let's see, Lawrence and Wesley put out some hay this morning and Lawrence said he's got to go to town and get something for his truck and then he's going to come back and he's going to hook up the bush hog and he's going to go over here, this pasture, there's a pasture back here on the other side of these woods and we need that pasture to be able to move horses into so we can start moving them around because the grass is it's trying to come up but there's too much pressure on it so we need to move them around so we've got to fix some fence so at least we're going to make strides towards getting that done hopefully in the near future and um yeah that's where we're that's where we're at today there is supposed to be some more rain coming i think in the next few days hopefully not for a few more days Supposed to go back to gyms tomorrow or the next day, do some riding. And uh, I've got a speaking engagement at the end of the week. I'm excited about that. Actually, it's with the farmers and ranchers, young farmer and rancher of Virginia. It's only about 30 minutes from home down in South Boston, Virginia. So I'm excited about that. I got to prep for that. And that's, um, that's where we're at right now. So I'll take you along, whatever we get get into. I am going to finish my workout now, get that done, and go back outside where it's pretty, while it's pretty. insane the past few days but a warm wind will help dry things up so I can't complain all right he's just gonna be over there I'm going, I'm going to finish a walk before supper it's church night so I gotta get everything done very early it's church youth group I'm gonna drop them off then I gotta do grocery pickup and then I got a farm bureau meeting so then Lawrence is gonna pick them up Anyway, it's just a, it's a busy night. Beautiful day though, I'm not lying, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, look at those calves over there. In the dry, can you see? They're in the dry. Yay. Oh man, we're gonna have some ruts to get through when spring gets here to get over. There's the sheeps. They have a bell of hay under the barn. A good bell of grass hay under cover. So they are well taken care of, even though their lot looks a little bare. Cause it is, but you've got feed, don't you babies? Yep, and I gave them oats. I gave them some oats. And then there's this dirty mongrel who just rolls in every single mud puddle he can find. Rocket? Rocket. Rocket. What do you smell? What are you doing? I think there's a cat that's been in that house. He smells it. <laughs> it 
If that cat jumped out right now, it would scare him to death and it would be hilarious. <laughs> we have got to clean up some plastic wrap. Okay, I just got back from a quick walk and um, Lawrence is coming down the drive. I saw him, I saw him going to the barn with the tractor with the bush hog off of it. I think something must have happened with a bush hog. Cause there's no way he finished in 10 minutes. We'll see. Um, supper tonight has gone through three iterations. Big word alert. I wanted a taco ring cause I haven't made one in a hundred years. So I got all this stuff out and then realized I didn't have any crescent rolls. So that's no good. So then I decided, okay, well, I'll do like uh, taco soup because I've been wanting that. But taco soup is more of a cold weather, cold weather meal. So then when I mentioned that to Wesley, he's like, do you have anything else? So I was like, okay, this is what I'll do. I'm still going to use pretty much the same ingredients. But I'm going to make nachos because I actually do have a whole bag of Tostito chip things and um, leftover from... Super Bowl dip. <laughs> so we do not care anything about the Super Bowl, but Austin, <laughs> Austin likes the food. So I always make like that sausage dip. So anyway, we had that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't think I've ever done it quite this way, but I'm just going to like hamburger, black beans, chili beans, Southwest corn, Rotel, and a pound of hamburger. And then we're just going to put it on nachos and we're going to call it supper. Did something happen, babe? It's too wet. Too wet to mow. So, um, okay. I'm glad nothing broke. That's good. That is a, that is a win. Okay, I had a little bit of a brain fart. I was going to put chili beans in here, but that would definitely not be very, uh, nacho-like. So, I, I'm <laughs> making, like, nacho meat. So, I omitted the chili beans, but I put the Rotel and the corn and the black beans and then a bunch of taco season and some white label white label musket powder i am out of the orange it's on its way to me so i just used some, some tacos right uh that's not it baby that's from target this would be coming from this farm wife store that's something else well for the 1800th day the wind is blowing so hard y'all Probably won't be able to hear me. We're doing some doctoring. They're not eating now, so we're gonna give them some banamine. And I'm gonna try to clean them up. Rip is looking really gross. Oh my gosh. I knew it was gonna get worse, but I still wasn't totally prepared. Cowboy's not terrible yet, but he's draining. But before we get hay, evidently this tire needs some air, according to Lawrence. 20 pounds, he said. I think I can do this. There we go. Now we're in the money. This little, this little, this little gadget's pretty nifty. No joke. Hear the pump coming on. Five more. 4.6 more. I can do a little bit of math. 1.3 more. Well, there's still hay in this bag. That was in cowboy stall, so I'm going to take it, add a little more to it, and go dump it out there for them. There's no easy way to get this stuff off. I mean, sometimes there is. Sometimes it comes off in like a, a little sleeve. But it's not ideal. It's not ideal. It's more perfect. Alright. Oh, I can get in there. I'm gonna do this. Try to keep it. Try to keep it contained.
Oh, that was silly, Mayor. Oh, and that was silly, Mayor. <laughs> oh, well, can't win for losing. Where'd you come from? All right. It is still, it is still sopping wet over there in the shady spots. Well, even back there on the other side of Ripstall, muddy, muddy. Even with all this wind and sun and warm temps. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've never seen Lady that dirty. What happened to you? Do not. Okay, these two are just getting back from a trail ride. How'd it go? Good. It's so windy. I'm afraid you won't be able to hear anything. Yeah. So windy. I cleaned up the boys. Good. I brushed them off. We gave them banamine. I cleaned up under their throats with some soap, soap and water, cut the extra hairs, and you can see. I'm going to give him a bath. You're going to give him a bath? Yeah. Okay, it looks like that would be, that's good. All right, Hank is getting the real deal. Good boy, standing there like a statue. Look at him. I just, when we got off, I just left him there, and he didn't, he was half asleep. Right <laughs> good boy, what a good boy you are. You could be so good. It's gonna be so pretty, Hanky. Cinch is really lonely out there. <laughs> he was hollering, winning. Okay, he's grinding. He said he is gonna put it out today, but uh, he moved the feeder, so it's not in that really muddy lot. So uh, it won't be so hard. He and Wesley can do that. He said. So I'm going to head back and work on supper. Okay, y'all. It uh, it's riding day. We're going to be heading, heading out in a little bit. The guys are putting out some hay. They had to fix a board. That board that uh, I showed in the last video that Lawrence replaced. Well, that he put up with string. The cows, of course, stuck their head through it and took it down. So he was going to... Um, it's gonna screw it back. Oh, don't be ugly. Hey, Rippy. So the boys are up here eating some hay, so I wanted to check on them. How you feel today? Y'all eat your breakfast, so that's a good sign. Well, y'all, it actually looks like it's drying up a little bit under there. There's definitely still some, some oozing happening, but there's also some crustiness. How are you looking, cowboy? Oh, look at the flies. The flies are already out. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Cowboys is not bad yet. The, the flies are bad. Um, ticks are already out, y'all. Austin has pulled ticks off of her. She's pulled ticks off of the gray mare, Dot. We were talking last night, looking online again. There's just, cannot find anything to help with the ticks for the horses. So, I don't know. It's really frustrating. It is February. I mean, it doesn't feel like February, but anyway, we just haven't had cold this year. Yeah, we had like a week of cold in December. That was it. I mean, real cold, you know? So, I don't know. All right, guys. I think you're all right today. I think you're okay. This is hot. He's hot. He's sweating. Okay, y'all, I'm off. Oh my gosh, we gotta find the air condition. <sighs> I didn't think I would be trying to scrounge through the closet finding something not, that was more like for summer to wear to this conference instead of uh, this like tweed blazer I had <laughs> chosen. <laughs> it is. It says it's 80 degrees, y'all. 80 degrees. February and 80 degrees. Who would have thunk? All right, I am heading to speak to the Virginia Young Farmers and Ranchers. I'm really excited for this, y'all. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be fun. Good, solid group of excited young people in agriculture. I mean, it's, it's awesome. So, I'm heading there. Weddy, 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 Wesley, bye ponies, 
Uh, the horses are looking better today. Rip looks better. His, his jaw looks better. Say bye, everybody. Um, also, Wesley is going to a hockey game. He's never been to a hockey. I even got frizzy hair. He's never been to a hockey game before. He's going with his 4-H leadership club. That's in Raleigh, so it's like a two-hour drive. It's going to be a very late night, so two hours past my bedtime, I will have to go pick him up. <laughs> from Yanceyville. Uh, I'm excited for him though. That'll be fun. And then uh, Austin. So Austin and Lawrence have a night to themselves. They, She wants to go on a trail ride. So I'm kind of hoping they can get that done after they take Wesley in a little bit. So that's what's happening here today, y'all. It's been busy just trying to get ready to get out the door and get on the road. So that's what's happening here. I doubt she'll take any video, but it would be super fun if she would. We'll see. I'm ready for spring, y'all. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for farming. I know some of y'all are too. It's coming. Sure feels like it anyway. <laughs> we have arrived, y'all. This is the prettiest place I want to show you. It's called the Berry Hill. I call it the Berry Hill Plantation. Berry Hill Resort and Conference Center. I, um, I did a wedding out here when I was doing photography and it was so pretty. See this tree line drive? So pretty. Okay, back on the farm. Um, my time with the Virginia Young Farmers was so good yesterday afternoon and last night. I stayed for supper and they had a program and they had uh, a panel of young farmers answering questions last night. Talked about the things that they have to face and advice for young people wanting to get into farming and just really really impressed with the young farmers that I saw and listened to. Um, great, great group of people. I'm super honored that they asked me to be a part of their program and I hope I can do more with them in the future. So shout out to Virginia Young Farmers. Y'all are doing awesome things and I can't wait to see what you continue to do. They're the next generation y'all and uh, they're strong. We have some really amazing young farmers in North Carolina and Virginia in this country and I'm super proud of y'all super proud I wish my kids could have been there to listen to that panel it was so good anywho um back at it today getting a walk in before it rains it's it's already rained a little bit it's supposed to rain more I'm gonna come out here and check on check on these guys they seem to be doing better I'm gonna look at Rip. He was looking a lot better. I actually videoed the other day. I videoed showing his under his neck, under his jaw. But it was so windy because we've had all this Nebraska wind. We've had Florida temps and Nebraska wind. It's been very strange. And it didn't turn out good. So um he's coming. <laughs> he's coming to see us right now. Hey buddy. So, um, it definitely looks better than it did, but if anybody wants to see what it looks like, I'm going to show you and I'll give you a warning if you want to turn away. Okay, yeah, he's on the uphill, downhill, however you want to look at that. He's starting, he's starting to get better, y'all. All right, I'm going to show you. His is drying up, so it's not, the, um, the pus is not oozing like it was, which you'll probably appreciate, but some of you might really be interested to see what, what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's so sweet. Y'all, he's so sweet. Are you tired of me saying that? I can't help it. He's the sweetest boy. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Let's show him what it looks like under there now. All right, y'all, this is so much better. Oh my gosh. So it's drying up. See where all his fur came off there, all his hair. 
and it's um it's drying up it's not oozing that's good buddy that's so good i might start putting some ointment on it here soon i'm gonna ask the vet we wanted it to just drain but i think you're you're on the upswing now maybe a couple more weeks we can take you somewhere all right let's look at you cowboy his is probably going to be a little worse Let's see what you got going on. See, yeah, his hair hasn't fallen out as bad. Hey, buddy. He's a little touchy. So he's got more of a, he's got, it's still coming out. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Say so it's terrible enough though, isn't it? It's bad enough. All right, you're both so sweet. You've gotten to be buddies now, haven't you? Have you gotten to be good buddies? Okay, get in, get in the truck. Let's go get the horsey some hay. So far so good, it's only sprinkled a little bit today. I was afraid it was gonna be like a downpour, but just cloudy and cool. And um, after the late night we had last night, Picking up Wesley at 11.15, not getting to bed till 12, which is like three times past, three hours past my bedtime. I uh, I think this afternoon is gonna be all about a, maybe a little nap. I'm watching some rodeo on the, on the TV. Uh, there's finals in San Antonio we've been following on the Cowboy Channel. And I just rem remember that I was gonna get hamburger out and make vegetable soup. All right, gotta go back and get that. Who wants some hay? Y'all want some hay? I think you do. Wesley's been feeding them first thing in the morning. They're grain, but you're out of hay. Hey, hey, hey. I can help that situation. Pretty boys. Hold on. Okay, y'all, this is where we're at. I'm feeling the major need for a nap to come along, for a nap, a nap coming along. I'm feeling the need to take a nap, um, but I'm getting stuff out. I decided I do want to do soup, so I've got my hamburger thawing because my daddy always made vegetable soup with hamburger, so that's what I do, um, but I always make vegetable soup different depending on what I have. I usually like to use like a frozen bag of, wait for it, vegetable soup mix. I don't have that. I don't even have a can of crushed tomatoes, <laughs> which is what I also normally use. Or I, I don't. I, Y'all, I have like a pantry full of canned goods, but it's never exactly what I need. What is that? It's some kind of like kitchen law, law of, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, this is what I'm going to try. <laughs> this is what I'm trying. I have a big jar of pasta sauce. It's tomatoes. And then I'm gonna put some fire roasted diced. I love these things. I'm gonna start using these in everything that's possible. Uh, corn. I have some frozen lima beans. I'm gonna put them in there. And then I had a few little white potatoes, so I'm gonna cut them up in little dices. And I'm gonna brown my hamburger after it thaws, after I take a nap. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go sit down with Lawrence and the kids and watch some of the rodeo and then just let what happen, whatever happens, happens. And, um, <laughs> and then I'm going to go throw this together and probably add some like beef broth to, to even out the tomato-y-ness of it all. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I'll also throw in everything in the kitchen sink as far as, uh, I mean, everything but the kitchen sink as far as seasoning, probably. Can you tell that I need to collect myself and um, take a nap? There's something something bad going on with this potato. <laughs> so, I'm going to cut the bad off. All right. We'll, uh, we'll be back. Okay, nap down, done, good deal. Feel like a new person. Um, now for soup. 
Y'all, this actually came together really good. And I just tasted it. And I'm not going to have to put much seasoning in it at all. I think it's really good. <laughs> I might have to write this one down. Okay, I put a little bit of my friend Caroline's Big Sky Caroline on Instagram. Her cowgirl seasoning in there. I think it's gonna it's gonna fit the bill. Oh, speaking of seasoning, hold on, I gotta tell you something. I wanna give my friend K Fred, Kendall Frederick, who makes the seasoning that I use every single morning on my eggs. Every single morning on my scrambled eggs. Um, a big fat shout out and congrats. He just hit a hundred K on YouTube, y'all. A hundred K, that is such a big deal. I'm so proud of you, Kendall. I'm excited for you. His seasoning is selling in like lots of different stores. It's all over the place down south. I don't know if it's up here or not, but you can order it from his website. Um, anyway, so everybody give him a shout out. He does lots of videos with like cooking and what does he call him? Like harvest, like kill. What? It, oh gosh, there's a name for it. It's like, um, it's not coming to me. Oh my goodness. But where he like, he kills an alligator and he gets, or they trap wild hogs and then he prepares the the meat and then he cooks it and it looks delicious and it's all in this amazing Creole Louisiana style cooking. So anyway, congrats, Kendall. That is awesome. Whoop, whoop. Catch, clean, cook. It just came to me. Okay, carry on.